beautiful people and welcome back to Styles Cultivated. My name is Tracy and here at Styles Cultivated we talk about fashion, we talk about beauty, we talk about lifestyle, anything a fashion girl's heart desires. Uh, today we'll be talking about fashion trends. What will we be wearing, what the runway has, and more. Um, if you like what you're hearing, please give me a thumbs up and hit the bell notification at the bottom of the screen and let's get into the video. Today I have five, I'm sorry, I have eight fashion trends in which I plan on incorporating into my wardrobe this fall winter. So I have notes here. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. Um, the first trend is suits. So Gucci, Versace, and Chanel, and many others had matching suits on the runway. We had waistcoats with blazers and wide leg pants. We had waistcoats with just trousers. It's very menswear inspired. This is a trend I'm definitely on board for. Look forward to seeing that in my next Misguided. I found a great piece set from Misguided, and I'm, I'm ready. The second trend, leather. Leather is always a fall staple. I mean, it just happens to be on trend this, this season. And we're looking for straight leg trousers, leather in all colors, creams, chocolate browns, tans. Um, we're bringing out the leather jackets, leather blazers, skirts, um, leather everything. Um, I will be indulging in the faux leather uh, trend. Uh, I don't own any real leather, and that's up to everyone's discretion. So make sure you have your leather pieces. This is a trend also that you should already have in your wardrobe. This is something that you don't have to go out and purchase in most cases. So I'm always on board for savings. The third trend we have is loose denim. So, not that skinny jeans are out. We're, they're just more into the loose-fitting jeans. Um, Balenciaga had a great um, pair of loose-fitting jeans. Um, it's a nod to our 90s style. It's an effortlessly effort look. So, I'm definitely here for something that <laughs> makes me seem like I had little to no effort to place in it. But, yeah, I look fabulous. Our fourth trend will be knits. We will be doing seeing knit sets, knit skirts and um, tops. We're going to see knitted pants, more in like a loungewear style, but more elevated. We're going to see knit everything. Knits are, uh, yet again, another basic that we everyone has in their wardrobe. And you can just, if you don't want to do the matching sets, you could just do a knit with jeans, slacks, skirts, nice pencil skirt with an oversized sweater beautiful the fourth trend we have is printed pieces and color so there was color all over the runway we had color in versace um and let us not forget the bottega green green is the color for this season you're gonna see kelly green emma green green is going to be everywhere in combination with green you're going to see um fuchsias and yellows um it's just we're we're rolling everything over from spring summer straight into winter i guess we've been on you know lockdown for we all know why for so long we we want to be bold we want to be colorful we want you to know that we're here you can see us you see me uh, so I, and that's the trend I'm also here for. I have a couple color pieces that you've seen in the previous um, hauls and you will see going forward in a couple more hauls. So this is a trend that I'm definitely on board for. The sixth trend I have is sequence. Now, sequence was probably 2000, I want to say 14, 15. Um, when I really got into fashion and following, you know, what the designers are doing and what trends are. And it was really big. And it's back around again. I didn't get on board last time, but I'm here for it this time. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of money on this trend. So I did actually find a beautiful um, sequence leopard skirt on 
eBay. So don't sleep on eBay. eBay has a lot of lovely um, designer pieces, got a lot of unique pieces that you're trying to find. I actually found a feathered skirt in which I'm going to um, incorporate, but that's not one of the trends I'm adding. Although there were some designers that had feathers, Louis Vuitton had feathers on the runway. I digress, I am rambling. So sequins, we're gonna see sequins in everyday wear. We're gonna see sequins with denim jeans, shorts. Um, we're gonna see them with slacks. We're gonna see people wearing denim, you know, just in everyday wear, lunch to lunch, running errands. Sequence is here. It's no longer just for evening wear and I am here for it because I am a girl who likes to be extra sometimes. So I am here for all the extraness that Sequence is bringing this season. The seventh trend I have is puffer. Puffer jackets. Oh, oversized. Now if we're going to, you're going to get on board with this trend, it must be oversized. We're talking you know, one, two sizes bigger than what you would normally get. Um, they're going to be in every, you know, color. Um, Mike, I'm sorry, Mark Jacobs had it on the runway. He had it head to toe, extremely oversized with hoods and scarves. Um, Rick Owens had it on the runway. He had a lovely cream piece, which I'm probably going to insert somewhere uh, on the runways. Like, I am going to be incorporating it. I've already purchased me a, a puffer vest, which is rolls right into my last trend, which is vest. Um, knit vest for is going to be all the rage this this season. Um, knit, although I would have been wearing knit vest anyway because it's just an, it's a this season is all about. Trends have to do with basics. So a lot of these trends you already have in your wardrobe, which is wonderful that you don't have to go out and spend too much money to participate and be on trend this season. So we got knitted vests. We've got waistcoats. Uh, Louis Vuitton is where it had them on the runway. Bottega. We're layering them with button downs. We're layering them um, with dresses, long sleeve dresses over... You know, we're just, it's a great layering piece. So that is all I have for you today.